Filters provide users with many ways of obtaining data to meet information needs. Filtering can be easy to use and is a fundamental part of data management. Filtering in the project and activity pages using the new P6 HTML5 standard and older classic views is demonstrated. We start on the EPS page using the new standard view. Click the filter icon. Select Manage Filters. Select Global in the Manage Filters pop-up window. Select Add. Click the arrow in the field box. Scroll to locate a field. In this case a project code is selected to filter for projects. Select the code Prescience Oz Region. Click on the value ellipsis. Select a value, in this case Queensland. Select a sign to complete the action. Click on the filter in the name field and type the filter name. The filter is checked by P6. Click Save to set the filter. Refresh the screen. Only projects that meet the specified filter criteria are displayed. Select the classic page which is open. Note that users might normally select Switch to Classic View, located top right. In the Classic View, set a filter by clicking the filter icon. Select Filters. In the Customize Filter pop-up, select Global. In the toolbar, click the Add Filter icon. Click in the Filter Name cell and type a name for the filter. Click in the definition cell. Scroll down to locate a project code value. Select Prescience Oz Region. Click on the value icon. Select a value, in this case Queensland. Click OK to select the value. Click OK to close Create Filter. Highlight the filter. Set the filter. Select OK to complete the action. Select the Group and Sort icon. Select Hide if empty. Click OK to close the window. Scroll to bring the filtered project into screen. Move to the Activities page. The page is open, however users could open the Activities page by selecting Activities. We are in the standard HTML5 Activities view. Click the Customize view icon. Note the columns selected. Select the Filtering tab. Select Edit Filters. Scroll to Global. Select Global. Select Add. Click the field drop down. Scroll to locate a field. Select Activity Status. Click on the value drop down. Select the in progress value. Click on the filter match drop down. Select any of the following. Type the name of the filter. Click on the cog to add a second filter criteria. Select Add Below. In the field cell, click the drop down. Scroll to locate field. Select the value Critical. Click in the value field. Select Yes. Note the filter is set. Click Save. Scroll to see the activities in the screen. Reduce the Activity Details tabs. Setting the filter now shows activities that are in progress or critical. Move to the Classic Activities page which is already open. The user can select the Classic page by clicking the link on the top right of the page. In the Classic page, click on the filter icon. Select Filters. Select Global. Select the Add icon. Type the name of the filter. Click on the Match drop-down. Select Any. Click on the Field drop-down. Scroll down to locate a field.
Select Activity Status. Select the Values icon. Select In Progress in the pop-up. Click OK to set the value. Add a second criteria. Scroll to select the field. Select Critical. Select the Access tab. Validate all users is set. And note that the filter can be for current user or a list of users. Click OK to close the Create Filter window. Select the new filter. Set the new filter. Click OK to apply the filter. Scroll to see the results. Click the Group and Sort icon. Select Hide if empty. Click OK to set. Scroll to see results. The Filter and Group and Sort setting display only activities that are in progress or critical and also hides empty WBS. Filtering combined with Group and Sort provides the user with multiple options for presenting data. Filtering is available in many areas of P6, each providing the required control over data selections. Thanks for watching this Learning Byte. Don't forget to check out the others in our collection or visit training.pressins.com.au for more options to gain great real-world skills in Oracle Primavera.